Well, earlier this week, our reporter John Franklin set out to learn more about the economic side of fire departments, but along the way he discovered so much more about the fire services in the area. He sat down with Yakima County Fire District 5 Deputy Fire Chief Joel Byam and has this in-depth report on what we learned about some of the troubles facing fire departments in Yakima County. But the job is still the same. The, the fire doesn't know the difference between a, a volunteer member or a career member. There are two types of firefighters. A career firefighter who spends all day in the fire station and gets paid full time for it. And volunteer firefighters, somebody who gets called out to fight fires when they happen. Volunteers can get paid a little bit though. For our organization, Fire District 5, we, we pay you an hourly wage. It's less than you know what you would get probably other places as a normal nine to five job, but we do reimburse you uh, for the calls and the emergencies and the training that you come down to. According to Deputy Bayam, there are different seasons with different types of fires. We are definitely a seasoned, uh, a seasonal type um, county where we have definitely the more structured fires in the winter, grass fires in the summer. One of the main differences between fighting a brush fire and a structure fire is how the firefighters get the water. A brush fire in the, in the summer months, you know, we're using smaller grass trucks, brush trucks, and our uh, water tenders to supply the water to the scene because we don't have the high fire hydrants out in the county. We don't have the municipal water sources. We have to bring the water with us. And so, but during a structure fire, like this truck that's behind me, you know, this is going to work on those structure fires, those building fires, vehicle fires. That's what we're going to use. Depending on the fire, sometimes departments need help, which is where mutual aid comes in. All your agencies in Yakima County uh, have a mutual aid agreement, so we help our neighboring agencies for larger incidents or when an agency has multiple incidents and they need additional personnel or apparatus. However, sometimes fire departments just can't spare the resources to help others in need. The majority of the agencies in Yakima County are, are volunteer co combination agency. It is hard to get uh, our volunteer memberships from any organization to be available to go to calls in the middle of the day, in the middle of the work day. There are times agencies say no, we don't have the personnel, uh, but that, that happens. We're the same way. Uh, we, we have turned down mutual aid uh, requests already this year. Volunteer fire departments are constantly searching for people to help fight their fires. All of the volunteer departments are always looking for people, we're always short on people. So we're down to about 120 volunteers, which seems like a lot, um, and that is a high number, but we're the largest square mile department in the state of Washington. You know, we cover uh, our fire district boundaries just over 700 square miles, and our contracted contractual area uh, is close to about 900. And so, you know, we cover White Swan to Grandview, ridge top to ridge top. Deputy Byam says that decades ago, there used to be more volunteer firefighters and just volunteers in general. So we used to have 300 some volunteers when you talk about 20 years ago, but that volunteer number continues to go down just like any organization. But when you look at things across the country, volunteerism, um, is down. No matter where firefighters come from, no matter if they do it on a volunteer or career basis, they have one vision, to extinguish the fire. Yep. People are there to do the job. You, you don't look at somebody who shows up, whether the truck says Yakima County Fire District 5, you know, Gleed Fire District 6, you know, City of Yakima. We're all there to do the job. We're all there to help for whatever reason that brought us together to the incident. We're all there to accomplish the same goal and the same task. Reporting in Zilla for Action News, I'm John Franklin. Well, thanks very much, John, for that in-depth report. And if you'd like to learn more about becoming a volunteer firefighter, contact your local fire department. And if you have a story you'd like us to look into, let us know on our tip line. Send an email to tips at kimatv.com. You can also call us at 575-KIMA. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, X and our YouTube channel.